Hello and welcome back to base 2. RAG, fine tuning, function calling, MCP, these are the common methods that we use to enhance the capabilities of LLMs. Let's make an understanding today of why we need these methods and in which use case, which one of these methods is the best fit. Think of an LLM as a box containing billions of neural network parameters trained on massive amounts of text data. This box can understand language, generate responses, and perform various text-based tasks. But the LLMs are generally considered smart. So why I am referring to it as a box? There is a reason. Let me show you. I'm going to start a Mistral model using Olama. And I will ask it a very simple question. What is date today? And it says it's August 13, 2022. Now let's ask the same question from another model, which is Llama 2 model. I'm running it. And I'll ask it, what is the date today? And this one says it's uh, March 21st, 2023. Well, I'm recording this on 16th of July, 2025. With this small demonstration, uh, you might now know that this LLM is actually kind of living in a box and it does not know uh, more than what it was trained on. So the LLMs cannot access real-time information. This is why both of the models gave me a date from past and they cannot learn new information and uh, they cannot access specific company data or domain knowledge if they were not trained on that. If we have to enhance their capabilities, we need to build tools around them like the apps like ChatGPT and the Cloud Desktop do. So imagine a law firm wants the model to draft contracts, briefs, or legal opinions that match their firm's specific legal writing style, particular class structure, legal reasoning patterns, citation formats, and argumentative approaches. This is a case where fine tuning can help us. So what we do in fine tuning is that we take a specific domain's uh, data and we train the foundation model on that data. And it creates a persistent knowledge layer. Uh, so it becomes part of that uh, box. Now this fine tuned model has the capability to also answer the questions and for example, make reports based on the domain specific uh, knowledge base of that law firm. But fine tuning has limitations. It is expensive and time consuming. The knowledge becomes static. There are no real time updates and you need significant training data. Now consider another use case. What if you need your LLM to perform actions like sending emails, checking databases or calling APIs? That's where function calling becomes essential. Function calling allows your LLM to connect with external tools and services in real time. Instead of just generating text, it can now do things. It can send emails, query databases, fetch weather data, control smart home devices, and even tell correct time. So we can use uh, function calling when uh, you need real time data or actions and you want to connect to specific APIs or tools or you need uh, dynamic interactive capabilities from your LLM. Now assume that you are creating a customer service agent and you need to give your LLM access to your company's entire knowledge base including the product catalog. Fine tuning would be impractical here because this information frequently changes and fine tuning is time consuming and expensive. This problem can be solved by using RAG. RAG solves this by connecting your LLM 
to a dynamic knowledge base instead of storing information in the model itself like fine tuning rag retrieves relevant information just when it is needed this way rag provides the llm access to domain specific information which is always up to date and it is cost effective for large knowledge bases now let's move on to a common problem you are building an ai application that needs access to multiple external services databases apis file systems because this is real-time access to external sources we can use traditional function calling but the problem is that function calling implementations are often non-standard each llm provider has different ways of defining and calling functions making it hard to reuse and integrate it with different llms Instead of building custom connections for each LLM, MCP provides a standardized way to connect any LLM to external resources. And support for MCP is growing with time. As you know, Anthropic, the creators of Claude, developed it. So Claude already supports it. Um, GPT has also the support for MCP now uh, and other big players in uh, uh, LLM industry are now also opening support for MCP. So previously, if you built a function to access your company's database for GPT-4, you'd need to rebuild it differently for Claude, Gemini, or other models. But with MCP, you build it once and it works everywhere. One important note with the MCP implementation is that we need to build an MCP server that exposes the tools for the LLM. And although uh, it provides standardized access for various LLMs, but for the trivial tasks, function calling might be still the better option. Let's recap when to use which method. When you want to train your model uh, with specialized persistent knowledge, use fine tuning. When you need real time actions and external data, use function calling. But if you want to reuse uh, the integrations with the multiple LLMs, or if you want to open source your tools so that people can use it with any LLM, then you can use MCP. And if you need access to large knowledge base, which frequently changes, then RAG is your option. These methods are not mutually exclusive. You can combine them. A production AI system might use fine tuning for domain expertise, RAG for knowledge access, and MCP for standardized tool integration. I have prepared a small quiz for you. I will display a use case, and you will decide which of the four method suits this use case. The first use case is that you have to enable your LLM to search 2 million research papers in the university library. Which of the four methods will you use? And the correct approach is RAG in this case, because this knowledge base changes frequently, more research papers can be added, so fine tuning in this case can be very expensive. So RAG is the best option here. The second use case is that uh, you have to enable your LLM to detect uh, cyber security threats from network traffic patterns. And this means that you have to train your model with uh, a huge data of past uh, traffic patterns so that it can learn the trends and make correct predictions. So what do you think is the best solution in this case? It is fine tuning. Third use case is that you want your LLM to monitor real time GPS, weather and traffic data. And in this case, the correct option would be MCP. It makes quite much sense to use MCP here because we might want to build a monitoring system with multiple LLMs for better monitoring, or we might want to A-B test the results of multiple 
LNMs and this is a good case for MCP. Let's move on to the next use case. Now you have to enable your LLM to calculate shipping costs for customer orders. You can think of it as an agent that is integrated into order system. In this case, function calling would be a good choice because this one is closely integrated into the system and probably we will not need this implementation to be integrated into multiple LLMs. So it doesn't make sense to specially create an MCP server for this small functionality. In our upcoming videos, we will dive deep into these methods, especially MCP and RAG with practical implementations. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.